Creek Watershed is one of 22 watersheds in Harris County. A portion of the watershed is up here in uh, uh, Waller County. Cypress Creek actually flows through the town of Waller, the, one of the main tributaries flows south, and then takes a turn to the east and flows all the way across Harris County, joins Spring Creek, goes into the San Jacinto River, and then ultimately into, into Lake Houston. Um, as I say, the watershed is one of the, is, is the largest, and uh, there are eight major tributaries, Little Cypress Creek, which is roughly uh, north of 290 for most of its course, uh, is a major tributary, but again, this is the Waller County line right here, and I say multiple tributaries flow into that. This is 45 right here, and this is State Highway 249 and, and US 290. A lot of you are familiar with the Katy Perry Conservancy. You know, it, it sits out here in, in uh, western Harris County and eastern Waller County. It's a, essentially the headwaters for, for Cypress Creek. Cypress Creek you know, flows through prairie area out here, uh, ranch land, former farmland, rice fields. But one of the things then, actually across this portion through much of this area, which is part of the Katy Perry, you know, there is a wonderful riparian corridor along Cypress Creek. So it's wonderful habitat, variety of plants, different types of vegetation. And this riparian corridor exists all along the 40 plus miles of Cypress Creek from the Waller County line all, all, all the way up, uh, across there. Uh, I might mention the tax day, April 18th, 19th flooding that a lot of areas experience. This area right out here, right in the headwaters of Cypress Creek, saw anywhere from 18 to as much as over into Waller County, 24 inches of rain. And that's why Cypress Creek flooded. I mean, when you get 18 to 20 inches of water in your watershed, I don't care what you do, you're certainly gonna have, have, have flooding. But one of the things I'll I just touch on here is that huge amount of rainfall in this area, and normally you think of, well, within a watershed, all the water in the watershed drains into Cypress Creek and flows down. Well, that's not the case with Cypress Creek. Because the topography is so low, very flat area out here, a significant amount, and sometimes up to 70, 80 percent of the water that comes down this area of Cypress Creek does not flow down Cypress Creek, but it flows into the Attic's watershed, into those creeks and bayous in this area, and goes down to Attic's reservoir. And a lot of people don't appreciate the fact that uh, what happens in the upper Cypress Creek watershed affects downtown Houston. Uh, the vision for the Cypress Creek Greenway project is to create a, a linear green belt or a greenway along Cypress Creek. We want to use this greenway to connect a series of existing and future parks, which I'll talk about some of those. And they're also interested in developing a pass-through trail system, multi-use all-weather trail system that will follow the course of Cypress Creek all the way across from Waller County line all the way over to, to where it joins Spring Creek. Uh, well, as I say, just our, our role in this, uh, I, I think we're probably the most knowledgeable body of what's going on along Cypress Creek. I know when the precincts get calls about things frequently, they refer people to us because of our contacts. and and networking that we do with, with the, many of the MUD and, and other groups. Uh, back up just a little bit uh, and, and talk about the Bayou Greenway initiative. Several years ago, this Bayou Greenway, oops, sorry. The Bayou Greenway initiative uh, actually, I think, was seeded out of the Quality of Life Committee within the Greater Houston Partnership. You know, the idea grew to recognize and work on promoting and developing linear parks greenways along all 10 waterways starting up here at Spring Creek, Cypress, all the way down through the city, down as far as Clear Creek. And you know, this is proceeded and in uh, the city of Houston, a bond issue was passed a few years ago, the, the Parks by U bond issue, $100 million to complete 150 miles of trails within the city of Houston by 2020. So $100 million from that being matched by $120 million additional, total $220 million uh, from the bond issued from grants and from, from uh, donations. Uh, there are a number of anchor parks.
parts. I won't go through these all in, in, in detail, but these are what we call anchor parts. You know, we're not starting from nothing through the many, many years and, and efforts of ours and others. You can just look along there and see that we have a significant number of acreage tracks that have been preserved along Cypress Creek as, as, as parks and preserves. Uh, out here, Katie Berg Conservancy, uh, 17, I think they're close to 20,000 acres out in this area now. Uh, a lot of you may be familiar with Mercer Arboretum, which is uh, along Cypress Creek in, in the eastern portion of Cypress Creek. But the point is that we do have a lot of, a lot of acreage that we're, we're starting with. Uh, Harris County Flood Control District actually owns a significant amount of acreage along here in feet. These are tracks that have been purchased for floodplain preservation. And they will buy acreage in the floodway, in the floodplain along Cypress Creek, and just let it stay in its natural, natural uh, setting uh, for, for the benefits that it provides for, for flood control. We have been successful in working with flood control. We've gone to them several times when, because of our knowledge along the creek, when tracks are available for sale, we find these, we see them. We've gone to flood control, and, and fortunately, in several cases, they've been able to purchase these tracks and add to the inventory of acreage in the greenway. Uh, I want to show you just some of the things along Cypress Creek to give you a flavor of some of the things that, that we're dealing with out there, and, 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 and so you can understand a little bit better about the nature of what we're dealing with. This is Bridgeland. Uh, this is out on the Katy Prairie area. It's south of US 290, and lies between Fry Road and, uh, and Katie Hopley Road, if you're familiar at all with, with that area. But this is looking to the west. You're looking out toward the Katie Ferry out there. And this is the Cypress Creek Corridor running out. Um, well, it's actually coming toward us. But when Bridgeland announced that they had bought the road to Josie Ranch several years ago, we contacted Bridgeland in Chicago and told them about the Cypress Creek Greenway and started promoting, reserving this corridor and hopefully working with them. And Bridgeland's 21,000, uh, well, 11,500 acres, 21,000 homes, eventually 65,000 people. So it's a 20 plus type year of development in, in their program. But we asked them if they would consider this Cypress Creek Corridor, and they've set aside the Cypress Creek Corridor at the northern end of the development. There's about 900 acres along here that they plan to leave in its current state. Uh, one of the things that we recognize, that, as I showed earlier, we have some existing parks along there, but we continue to promote and advocate the development of new anchor parks. An anchor park is a fairly significant piece of acreage in the sense it's plus or minus 100 acres. Uh, it would be a place where there's parking and future entry for people that want to come to the Greenway and access the Greenway from outside the areas if they can't get to it. Uh, Along Cypress Creek, where Little Cypress Creek and Cypress Creek come together right here, Cypress Creek continues flowing on over to the east. There's about a 140-acre tract here that was fully wooded. Harris County Flood Control uh, was interested in creating a regional detention pond. That is, these regional ponds hold water when you have major flooding events. Uh, for instance, this entire area was under several feet of water with our recent flooding. There was not a single square foot of this park, with the exception of right at the edge of Eldridge that was, was out of the water. So it clearly serves its function. But th th these areas were excavated and uh, hiking trails, biking trails were put around them. And then it's not shown in here, but the fact in what they call the nature area, the beautiful wooded corridor back in here with, with trails that, that go along Cypress Creek. Uh, our area is near State Highway 249 in Cypress Creek. Uh, this is right near the Hewlett Packard campus, a form of compact campus, if you're familiar at all with this area. This is State Highway 249 right here. Cypress Creek flows along the southern border of this. Years ago, Compact bought this entire 600 plus acre track, which was completely forested, and uh, had future plans for Compact expansion there. Things didn't work out for Compact, as you're aware. Hewlett Packard bought them out, and they did a little bit of development over in this area and had to put about $20 million worth of infrastructure through the 
complex, but then decided to sell it. And when HP decided to sell it, we went to HP. We had approached HP before about trying to preserve this area along the creek, didn't get response, and so we approached them again and told them about the Greenway. And they said, we're not going to donate anything, we're not going to sell it separately, but we will take into consideration what you're trying to do. And so we worked with HP, we formed a group called the Friends of the Kick Gorilla Mission Preserve, just a conglomeration of various groups in that area that had interest in this. We worked with HP, then we worked with the county, we worked with Hewlett Packard, and ultimately when they sold this for development, they set aside 85 acres down here, including a 40-acre lake, and donated that acreage to the county. And uh, in addition, there's another 75 acres with some wooded areas around and existing and future detention areas. So there'll be another 75 acres that will come over to the county in the future. The Mudsville Parks, uh, this particular mud near 249 the HP campus, uh, spent about $2 million acquiring acreage, building a park, building trails, and they were able to get about $600,000 from Texas Parks and Wildlife to, to, to go toward the project. So MUDs can build up trails out of their operating funds, they can pass bond issues. There have been over $25 million in bond issues passed in, uh, along the corridor the last several years for parks and trails. And some MUDs are using those funds to purchase acreage. Uh, Northwest Harris County Mud 10 purchased about 100 acres of bottomland along Little Cypress Creek for preservation. This is a, another example of a mud park with hiking and biking trails and ball fields. Uh, this is Mandolin Gardens. Uh, some muds buy, attract, and preserve it and have a few natural surface trails in it. Other muds have taken the other approach to put amenities in. There's about a mile and a half of hiking or biking and walking trails around two areas. This was an unsightly detention pond before they did this. Uh, and uh, view to the north, view to the south from, from, from the same area there. One of the things that we've seen, and, and we've realized, I guess, when I first got involved with this, it was more of a quality of life issue that I felt that these were wonderful amenities. I enjoy them. I felt other people would probably enjoy them too, which they do. But we have had some, some studies done. Houston Galveston Area Council funded a case study out here and showed there's a clear benefit from increased price of home. Yeah. Uh, we saw at least a minimum of 10%. So as I say, it's kind of a unique area along the entire Greenway. Um, this is something that we're working with with the Bayou Preservation Association. The Bayou Preservation Association was the one originally that created the Buffalo Bayou Paddling Trail. It's sanctioned by Texas Parks and Wildlife as its official trail. Well, we're working to develop a paddling trail on Cypress Creek. Starts here at Telgate Park and goes all the way down to, to State Highway 59. It's about 35 miles. But I think you'd really be pleased to see what the court is like. It's, uh, it's incredible. When you, you, know, you look at an area, you'll see how heavily developed it is. But what we do have this corridor and the floodplain, floodplain that we're working to preserve and make accessible and safe.